Gavi, it appears there never seems to be a, a dull game with, with you at the helm. Um, how, how would you assess that one today? Do you think it's a, is it two points lost or is it a point gain today? Um, first half, it's obviously point gain. Second half, we should win the game. We had about one hit stair lad in the back going in. Uh, Rush should either take it past the keeper or square. He does fantastically to get in. Um, listen, a weird emotion after that game. Probably a bit of a headache. Um, yeah, and obviously, I guess you know you, you're always calling for your teams to start on the on the front foot, start brightly. They certainly did that under 60 seconds, getting the first goal. But then a bit shell shocked after potentially with with the goals that followed. No, just poor decision making, jumping out of shape, leaving our men run on to score. Just a lot of um, a lot of really indecisive moments, and um, that's why I just whipped three lads off half time and changed it. Listen, it was nothing against the three lads. That it could have been anybody, to be fair, because. One to eleven, we are we are very very poor today. Um, staff, I know you've um, you've seen the penalty incident back. Um, what are your what are your thoughts on that within reason? Yeah, it's mad, it's mad to be fair. <coughs> I don't know what you're seeing. The ball has hit him in the flush in the face. I've just seen it five times back there. It's flush in the face. It's no, his arms here. The ball hits him flush in the face here. I don't get how you can even give that. Then he gives us a crazy penalty as well. I don't know how he's given both penalties. So listen, don't know now that I'm going back to be a coach, I can probably say what I want, but yeah. And obviously even at 3-1 down, though, obviously uh, the, with the influx of goals so early on, you, you still played quite well there and, and really could have probably gone in at the break level. Yeah, listen, um, I just hope the fans enjoyed that. Um, and a new gaffer will probably bring the same kind of through fo football, um, good experience he has, worked at the top level of English football, so I'm sure he's going to do a great job. Uh, three changes at half time, as you mentioned there. What was the what was the thinking behind there? Talk us through that. I just wanted to freshen up, get people off the, on the pitch who were going to change the game. They did. It worked. So listen, it it could it could have looked like I could have looked silly making three subs, but now it looked great. So I'm happy with that. But listen, it's not it's not the Gavin Gunning show. It's Swindon Town Football Club. Fantastic point in the end. Probably dropped two to be fair with the chance we missed at the end. And those players that came on at half time really seemed to to instill a bit more sort of energe energy in the, into the side and in the second half, Ginningham really had nothing at all. Yeah, they were hanging on. I think um, we had ten men. I was still wanting us to score the winner, but listen, wasn't meant to be. Got the point. <sighs> on to next week, I suppose. And when you have got Charlie Austin in your side, you, you've, you've got goals there, and you've always got a chance. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> I'd imagine it'd be a bit leggy tomorrow. Yeah. Planned on getting him off, but needed to keep him on the pitch, and thankfully we did. I didn't see his penalty, but it went in just. I think. In, yeah, I heard it. It wasn't a great one, but happy for him. It, and he's been great since he's come through the door, and uh, it's a pleasure to work with him. And just at the end, there obviously rushed with that that chance. You probably put your house on him, netting that one, and all of a sudden we've come away with a victory. Uh, I guess it's a tough one for him to take. Do you, do you sort of put your arm around him or, or chat to him about it? But he's a he's a strong lad mentally, isn't he? Yeah, massively. Listen, it's tough. He's come back. He could, once he came in, he did really well. First game, got injured, was out for a long time. Come back in the team now. He's, he looked a handful at Grimsby. Decided to, he's going to be our finisher today, and he finished it really well. He's probably trying to score. He's he's trying he's trying too hard to score. It's on to square it for a tap in or kick the ball past the keeper and run. He's never going to catch him. So he's got to suck the keeper out and square it or suck the keeper out, kick it past him and finish. But the goals will come. He's a good player. And just finally, eight goals in the two games you've been in interim charge of. I mean, having scored those goals after a spell of maybe not scoring as many as we possibly should. There's there's great signs there that this is a really attacking side with with fantastic potential. Yeah, we just got to be brave. Um, <coughs> If we play slow tempo like we did first half, we're an average side. When we play quick tempo, we're one of the best sides in the league. So I know it's simple to say this. It's like it's one of the, it's like a metaphor, but quick transitions, quick play on the front foot wins you football games at this level. And we should win this football game today, but we didn't. So <clears throat> you take on the chin a little bit when you're three one down. Would you taking a point? Yes. The last 20 minutes, you're yeah, caving them in, and even with 10 men, we're still we're still absolutely in the ascendancy. So, one of them, maybe two points dropped, maybe a point gained. It's a flip of a coin, really. And uh, it promises to be a, a big couple of days for the football club now. Whatever happens, the, last, the the two games you've been in charge with, how have you enjoyed that, and how would you summarise your time sort of in the, in the hot seat over the last couple of weeks? Yeah, fantastic. Hope the boys have enjoyed it. 
Um, probably back to the day job now on Monday, so yeah, hopefully learn from the new gaffer coming in and see where we go from there.